Good afternoon, Messiah kids. Um, first off, oh, let's try that again. We'll get the full screen. First off, I apologize for not being with you on Friday, um, but you should be getting your kids just do it kits in the mail in the next day or so. And that's what messed me up. I got so busy putting your kits together that I missed my four o'clock kickoff for story time. So, um, but it's pretty good reason, don't you think? Um, anyhow, I know you all are getting ready to go back to school. And some of you actually get to go to school in person, but some of you don't. Um, but I just want you to think about on those first few days that you went to school maybe last year or you're thinking about it this year, do you think there might be somebody new at your school who doesn't know anybody? Like they don't have any friends. That could be kind of sad, couldn't it? So what I'm asking you is, could you be their friend? And what would that take? And um, maybe you've already done this. Maybe last fall when you went to school last year, there were new kids and you showed them around the school, you showed them how to do the lunchroom, how to do the playground, all those cool things. So that's just what I want you to think about. And even though we're in um, this time with the pandemic, new people are still moving into houses in your neighborhood. And even more so if you aren't going to school, they need a way to make friends in the neighborhood and maybe you could be that friend. So I've got a story for you called The Man Who Didn't Have Any Friends. No friends. And you may remember the story from maybe Sunday school. And this is the story of Zacchaeus. And you can find this story in Luke 19. There was once a man who didn't have any friends, not one. Do you have friends? Well, of course you do, but not Zacchaeus. Poor Zacchaeus, he didn't have any. But maybe you're wondering why. Was it because he was so short? Well, that's not a good reason to not like someone. Was it because he had a name that was hard to say? Well, that's not a good reason either. Even though he was short and he had a funny name, that wasn't it. No, people didn't like Zacchaeus because he stole their money. Zacchaeus collected taxes. Taxes were what people had to pay to the king. But Zacchaeus took more than he was supposed to and kept the extra money for himself, which made himself rich. Everyone knew what he was up to, and it made them cross and grumpy. They didn't like Zacchaeus one little bit. So they made sure he knew it by doing things like avoiding him and walking on the opposite side of the street and pretending not to see him and whispering things like, there's that nobody who thinks he's somebody just loud enough so he could hear. So that's Zacchaeus back here. And everybody's whispering about him. They don't like him. Kind of sounds like he deserves it a little bit because he's doing things that aren't right. Anyway, one day a huge crowd gathered by the road 
Jesus was coming to their town and everyone wanted to see him. Zacchaeus wanted to see Jesus too, but everyone was too tall. He tried jumping up and down, but that didn't work. He couldn't see a thing. Luckily, Zacchaeus had a good idea. I'll climb that sycamore tree, he said. So he did. He was surprisingly good at climbing trees for a man who was so unusually short that he had to take a flying leap just to get into his chair in the morning. So there he is trying to see over the people. From the tree, Zacchaeus had a perfect view all the way down the road. Another minute and suddenly, Jesus was at the tree. He stopped and looked up. Zacchaeus saw Jesus and Jesus saw Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus, Jesus said, you come down. I want to come over to your house today. Well, Zacchaeus almost fell out of the tree. Come over to his house? No one ever wanted to go anywhere near his house, let alone inside of it. So there's Jesus looking up at Zacchaeus and Zacchaeus looking down at Jesus. Isn't it cool how they wrote the book that way? Well, now let's see what's going to happen. I think somebody's not going to like the fact Jesus is going to Zacchaeus's. The people saw this, and needless to say, it made them even cross and grumpier than usual. They mumbled and murmured and muttered. Why is Jesus being kind to that big sinner? Doesn't Jesus know about him? Zacchaeus scrambled down and took Jesus to his house. He was in a big hurry because he didn't want Jesus to change his mind. Perhaps Jesus hadn't heard about him. Perhaps Jesus didn't know about he had been stealing and how no one liked him and how he didn't have any friends. But Jesus knew. He knew all about Zacchaeus and the stealing and everything. And he still loved him. Zacchaeus was ashamed. Lord, he said, turning pale, what I've done is wrong. But now I want to do the right thing. I will give the money back to everyone four times what I stole. And that's just what he did. Jesus smiled. My friend, he said, today God has rescued you. Jesus loved Zacchaeus when nobody else did. He was Zacchaeus' friend even when no one else was. Because Jesus was showing people what God's love was like. His wonderful never stopping, never giving up, unbreaking, always and forever love. Boy, Zacchaeus really turned out to be a good guy. He realized that if Jesus could love him, then he could do the right thing. So he did, and he paid back people all the money he owed them. And I bet he was friends with everybody then, don't you think? I think so. Um, so I have kind of a fun craft. So here is our friend Zacchaeus, and he's at the bottom of the tree. 
Well, he can't see anything, so he climbs up the tree. And now he can see when Jesus passes by. And then when Jesus comes and says that he has come down, he can come down and go see Jesus. So that's just kind of fun to do. Um, it's a pretty simple craft. Just make a tree any kind you want. You could do it out of construction paper. You could go pick up leaves outside and crush up leaves and put leaves up there for your tree. Um, you could use glitter. You could do all sorts of things. And then I just took a popsicle stick. You could make a person any way you wanted to, or you might have a toy person and you could do this. But I made a person out of a popsicle stick, put Google eyes on him and drew some hair on him and gave him some arms. And then I wrapped a piece of string around under his arms. And then I brought it up behind him and tied it so it was even. Otherwise, I couldn't get him to go up and down even. And then I just made two little holes in the tree. And I tied the string back here. And then you can operate it from the back. And then when you want Zacchaeus to go down, you just let go of the string and down he goes. So there you go. There's your craft. So I hope this week as school is getting ready to start and you're thinking about who might be new in the neighborhood or who could you introduce around, maybe you can be a friend to someone who needs a friend. Just a good idea to do. And it's what Jesus would want us to do, too. So I will be back on Wednesday, and we're going to do another Bible story. And um, I will see you then. So let's bow our heads for prayer. Dear God, help us to be good neighbors and good friends to those around us. Help us to find new people who don't know their way around, who don't have friends, and to become a friend to them and introduce them, especially at the beginning of a new school year when it's so hard and so scary. So I ask you to bless my Messiah friends and be with them at the beginning of this new school year and um, be with them rest of the day. In your name we pray. Amen. All right. I will see you all on Wednesday.